Yeah, so apparently a Jesuit university is hosting a Planned Parenthood fundraiser, a fundraiser for the baby butchering abortionists over at Planned Parenthood. Which is not surprising because the legalization of abortion does have Jesuit influences. I have a blog post about that. Just search up, go on my blog and just search up the Jesuit you know, influences behind the pro-abortion lobby. Uh, the Jesuit legalized abortion agenda is just simply another Jesuit rat Vatican crusade against white Protestants and white Bible-believing Christians. Plain and simple, abortion is in fact white genocide. But here's the article from Breitbart News about the Jesuit University hosts Planned Parenthood fundraiser. So, hosting a fundraiser for a company that already gets government funds to butcher children on a daily basis. Three thousand, about 3,000 children a day are butchered by Planned Parenthood and other abortion clinics across the United States of America. The Jesuit uh, order is very, very satanic and evil. But it says, Loyola Marymount University is hosting an on-campus Planned Parenthood fundraiser Friday sponsored by the LMU Women in Politics, a uh, registered student organization at the university. Uh, women in politics, there shouldn't be any women in politics, okay? Women shouldn't be voting. Sorry, they shouldn't be voting. Just plain and simple. That's not what the Bible teaches, okay? The reason why is because, you know, women are more driven by their emotions, okay? I'm not being mean, I'm just stating a fact, okay? Uh, the fact is, is that uh, men tend to think more logically. It's a scientifically proven fact as well. But you read in the Bible, for example, 2 Timothy chapter 2. Actually, let me just turn there real quick. 2 Timothy chapter 2, just so people know what I'm talking about. Uh, especially with white women in particular, because uh, I'm a white person, especially with white women in particular, this is definitely the case. Uh, for, or sorry, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses... Uh, 11 to 15. Let the women learn in silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. Why? What's the reason for this? Because for Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam is not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing, if they continue in the faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. Why? Why is this the case? Because Adam was not deceived, but the woman was. The man was not deceived. He knew that what Eve was doing was wrong. Eve was genuinely deceived by Satan, but Adam, he knew better. And he ate the fruit willingly because he was not deceived. So yeah, just a little side note, there shouldn't be any women in politics because they, uh, they're they not good at that. They're better in the kitchen raising home, at home in the kitchen raising kids. Quote, the Planned Parenthood fundraiser is an opportunity for us to raise money for, uh, by the way, just a little side note, feminism has to totally destroyed uh, white European and Western European women. So just get just keep that in mind. Uh, let me just go back to the article real quick. Yeah, the Planned Parenthood fundraiser is an opportunity for us to raise money for a cause we really care about and have fun at sa at the same time. Reads the description posted on the university on the, on the university's website event calendar. You have fun raising money for a company that butchers babies in the millions. It's white genocide. But of course, the Jesuit agenda is definitely a black supremacist lobby you know obviously is controlled by the jesuits you just simply read eric john phelps's book about vatican assassins he goes over all the details how the nation of islam louis farrakhan some of these other uh black supremacist figures are you know ran by the jesuits and they are masonic and everything else but it's all part of the white genocide agenda which goes hand in hand it's all it, it all comes down to the vatican trying to bring in the new world order of revelation chapter 13. i know i'm going off a little bit of a tangent right now because this kind of stuff really gets me fired up but continuing, Loyola Marymount is a private Catholic college in Los Angeles founded by a Jesuit, by the Jesuit and Marymount orders, uh, and, and refused to cancel an event despite protests from concerned Catholics and alumni, insisting that the events, actions, and positions of student organizations, quote, are not endorsed by the university. Well, if you're a private university, then just shut down the event then. You know what I mean? They do, they do that kind of stuff at other universities. If it's not against, you know, if it's not against, if it's against your, what your university stands for, then just don't allow it to happen. If you're a private university, you can do that. Uh, for its part, LM, LMU, Women in Politics, described itself as, quote, an organization created for the purpose of fighting for women, women's equality on and off campus. Look what they say here. We strive for a strong emphasis on intersectional feminism, unquote. The group says on its website, we are committed to making racial justice and, and LGBTQ sodomites. Uh, women, gender, queer, and non-binary binary individuals, a priority in our fight. Now, the fact that this is even on a Jesuit campus in the first place 
shows the kind of fruit that comes out of the Jesuit order, plain and simple. LMU Women in Politics also posted a statement online thanking supporters of the fundraiser, insisting that, quote, the backlash from conservatives on and off campus will not stop us from creating change and celebrating the making and celebrating making history with all of you. Well, yeah, sure, you're making change, all right. You're changing the, the lives of millions of babies, essentially. It's murder. Abortion is murder. Plain and simple. It's white genocide. It's murder. It's a Jesuit Vatican crusade against white Protestant Bible believers. Which, I'm not a Protestant, but it's a whole other issue. I'm a Bible-believing Christian. We existed before the Protestants. Plain and simple, but side issue. I'm, again, I'm just very fired up. I'm just ranting right now. Uh, quote, if anything, uh, we are more motivated than ever before, the group wrote. Planned Parenthood is the largest abortion provider in the United States. And in, in, in this report from 2019 and 2020, fiscal year declared having performed, look at this, 354,871 domestic abortions. A number of students, alumni, and other concerned Catholics have protested the event at the contrary, as contrary to the dignity of human beings and to university's mission as a Catholic inst institution. Yeah, the Catholic Church pretends to be against abortion, but really, again, the Jesuit influence behind the legalization of abortion is very evident. Uh, let me continue. Loyola Marymount alumni, uh, alum, alumna Sam Samantha Stevenson said she was, quote, heartbroken, sad, disappointed, and angry after learning of the event. Quote, I know that if there were an event that, the, that was marginalizing to any other class of people who tend to be overlooked, forgotten, or exploited in the same way, in some way, then that event would not be perm permitted on campus. Stevenson told Crooks, an online Catholic news outlet, quote, for the unborn to be overlooked, it is, it's really disheartening. I agree. You know, for once, I actually do agree with the Catholics who do generally stand against the crime of abortion. Uh, let me just make sure, I'm, yeah, I'm still full screen. You see, the Catholic Church, you know, even a broken clock is right twice a day, okay? The Roman Catholic Church is satanic. However, their condemnation of abortion is something they've gotten right, okay? Just like with Islam, you know, they are satanic. However, their condemnation of the sin of sodomy is something they, they're right on. Plain and simple. Okay, a broken clock can be right twice a day. Uh, quote, this is not a freedom of speech issue, Stephen said. This is a fundraiser and there will not be a Planned Parenthood, fund, Planned Parenthood representative or any kind of dialogue. Stevenson organized an online petition urging LMU President Timothy Law Schneider to stop the event, calling the fundraiser an egregious violation of MNU's Jesuit Catholic identity. As of November 4th, the petition has garnered uh, some 14,000 total signatures, she said. And again, the fact that this kind of, you know, call it ca campus group is even allowed on the Jesuit school just shows the kind of corrupt fruit that comes from the Jesuit order, plain and simple. The Jesuit order is a corrupt tree and thus only produce corrupt fruit, okay? There may be some Catholics out there who are generally against the sin of abortion, okay, the crime, the unhealthy crime of abortion, but the fruits of the Catholic Church is what's behind the legalization of abortion, plain and simple. Again, I'm just fired up right now, so I'm just want to get this, I just have to get this video out there to just show the wickedness that comes out of the Jesuit order. So, there may be individual Catholics that are against abortion, but as a whole, the Catholic Church will profess to be against abortion, but secretly, they're the ones that were behind the legalization of it. The Jesuit, uh, the, there was a Jesuit priest, I forget his name, just go on my website and search up Jesuit influence behind legalization of abortion. You'll see it's all there. All the information is there about the Jesuit influence behind the pro-abortion lobby and the legalization of the sin of abortion in the United States. So yeah, there may be Catholics individually who oppose it, but as a system, they're not against it. So anyway, don't be deceived by the Jesuit order. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.